In this tutorial, I'm going to use parametric array um, to decompose the surface into triangle shapes. And then we try to align those triangles on XY plane uh, in order to create a CAD drawing out of it. So what I have here is a surface which I have created using NURBS function. This is a result of your love surface where uh, passing through the uh, tree curves. Uh, to begin, I would suggest uh, uh, to choose eyes only from display line parameters. Uh, this way, and the surface doesn't shade in view, so we can see our panels easily. Uh, the next thing we'll do is to create a triangle. I'm going to use angon comment, and we set the sides uh, parameter tree and then we create a triangle well uh, we need to create a mesh out of this so I would s um, just convert it to a detailed mesh and then we create array out of it uh, this is basically a two-dimensional array and uh, it's obviously copy because I'm going to deform the f uh, the triangle. We say yes to this question since it's asking for a transform um, tr modifying the vertices, which is the what which is what we're going to do. And uh, here we need to go under object and we, we look for vertices which they are uh, usually under the master point controller um, I just check on the master to check all the vertices and then we can assign the surface controller to them uh, for the surface controller we can use instance for all three vertices uh, and for the offsets we will actually use the sub-object controller to control the offsets uh, for the vertices. So now we just need to define, uh, we just need to assign our surface to the controller and we update the array. So uh, here uh, the triangle just uh, uh, they have been arrayed on the surface in a normal grid so we need to choose our grid a different pattern for the grid uh, that could happen under the this option and what we're looking for is a triangulated grid uh, let's see if this works no we have to go vertical uh, I would I will show the edges so we can see what's happening here so we already triangulated um, our surface what we need is uh, I'm gonna create a snapshot uh, for this array it gives us an edit poly object so this is our surface and now we want to uh, decompose it and we want to get all uh, the triangles on XY, XY plane so what I'm going to do is I would um, assign a controller and transfer and then I would delete it and then I will reset the transformation oh, that's how I can get oh, everything on XY plane to create the, the transformation of each uh, uh, triangle we need to find the plane which passes through uh, three vertices of each triangle uh, okay that could be found under vector controller we just drag it here 
and it gives us as output a plane that contains two vector or a plane which passes through the points we choose the second option we have three points to set uh, each point ABC goes uh, to one of the vertices uh, of the triangle uh, for example I would assign uh, the, the, the point A to vertex 1 of the triangle that is a link uh, between the controllers and a property oh, well and since this link is happening inside the array is a is an internal link so let's look for link controller which is here I'm just dragging on the vector controller and here for the name um, uh, I'll say where it takes one and then um, that is internal link so we we just need to choose the internal and then for the target we go under the vertex one which is this one under the master point you can find the vertex one uh, that's all we leave uh, the rest of option as default because this is a relative and when the index is zero means the the the, the object itself we go back and we just need to copy this one to the uh, second point mm, we, we choose copy option now I'm going to set this one to the second vertex so now it's vertex 2 and the same thing for the third point And this one is vertex tree all right uh, so let's see what happens if I update the array so everything is projected out of the surface uh, this is because bef uh, we didn't have any transformation uh, on the on the on object itself now we transform the object so obviously it moves away from the surface so we need to transfer the back one thing I forgot to, uh, to, to check it was the output coordinate system since uh, the output it has to be in global coordinate system because we are getting something from the sub object which is the vertex one but we're, we're going to assign this value to, to the object transformation which is a global value uh, so we need to 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 check the global option for all of it okay now let's just update uh, all the controllers okay uh, well let's see what's happening now if I choose one of the uh, triangle and I, I, I isolate that triangle and if you look at the uh, at the pivot point uh, you can see it's exactly on the first vertex of the triangle and the the red axis or the x um, axis of the coordinate system is following the vector which passed uh, through the point one and point two or uh, vertex one and vertex two which is you know controllers point a and point b uh, so if we reset this transformation Let's go back to uh, 
okay if we reset this transformation we we should have all the triangle on x y plane so uh, to do that we just remove this transform uh, controller and then uh, we choose the reset transform button and now all these triangles are gone uh, into origin point uh, now we just need to add a linear controller to get them in kind of a table and as you can see um, if I go to the front all the triangles are uh, aligned on XY plane 